to cycle through the different screen parameters, you can touch any of the soft keys to have these menus come up and then arrow over to see engine load, intake manifold temperature, engine hours, and then engine speed will stay constant. The fuel level will be displayed on the bottom and then to cycle back to the other menu, touch any soft key and then arrow over or back. To acknowledge the service timers, hit the check mark in the middle. You can see there's a variety of service timers that can pop up. Once the engine reaches a certain number of hours, you can acknowledge all these. And then for more information on the service timers, you can enter the timer menu and then scroll down to see the hours remaining on various timers. If there's a problem with the engine, the engine ECU will generate a trouble code or a diagnostic trouble code or a DTC. And then you'll see this alarm pop up. First, you have to acknowledge the alarm by pressing the check mark. And then on this screen, so long as the code is active, you'll see the active codes in the bottom left. And then this icon indicating that there is still an active trouble code or problem with the engine. To get more information about the trouble code, press any soft key and then click on the bell icon and then you can see a list of all the stored and active fault codes. The stored codes are indicated with the S and then the active codes are indicated with the A. To get more information about a particular code, scroll to the code and then click on the question mark and you can find more information about the code as well as the number of times that this particular fault code has occurred. To exit out of this menu, press the exit icon and then continue until you get to the main menu. If the engine temperature exceeds 230 degrees Fahrenheit, you will get a diagnostic trouble code for high coolant temperature and the engine will shut down in order to protect the engine. A fault code like this will pop up and what's different about this fault code versus a regular fault code is the text at the bottom that says engine DTC shutdown. So you can acknowledge this fault code and then you'll see the engine speed has dropped to zero and now we have an active fault code icon but we also have a DTC stop icon indicating that this particular fault code has shut down the engine. The two fault codes that can shut down the engine are coolant temperature fault codes and a low oil pressure fault code. For diagnostic purposes, it may be useful to know what software version is installed on the panel that you have. To get this information, enter the setting menu, arrow up to get down to system, and then hit enter, and then arrow down to the about section and hit enter. And this will be the information that you will need to provide to troubleshoot what a potential software issue may be. When the engine shuts down, this screen will appear until the ECU has time to write data and then power off itself, which is generally 20 seconds or less. 